in the collection of videos that follow this, I'm going to show you how to take any photograph and I blurred this one, but I could have just enlarged this to 5,000 by 5,000 pixels and used this. But for right now, I want you to, to notice that, hey, this same name has been used in 13 different files. What's up with that? Okay, so I have a PSD file that if I double click on it, this is my blur. And you notice it's flat. And I've got a name, the image 3458 PSD. So if I close this and then jump over to Illustrator and hit Command N, and I'm going to open up a 5,000 by 5,000 pixel document, okay, in RGB, and go ahead and create that, and then do File, Place. And then I'm going to pick inside this, this file here that PSD, which is right here. And if I hit spacebar, you can see that this is... Now it's going to take a while to show it off. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and place that. Come up here till it says intersect and click. Now, if this doesn't fill the area, sometimes this will just fill in something small. This image, this artboard is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. This image is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. But if you have to resize it, make sure the upper left corner is selected, 0, 0. Then lock the aspect ratio and type in 5,000. And then the other one, when you hit tab, will automatically switch to 5,000. That is the base image in Illustrator that's going to allow you to work inside of Photoshop um, with all of the different mosaics that you're going to create out of this. Now, back in Photoshop, if I jump back over here, I'm not going to do this again and again and again, but you might notice that, hey, look, I've got a 5x5 five five Illustrator image here, and I also have a 10x10. 10 10. I'm going to show you how to make all these on in one document, but I went ahead and saved these out on individual documents because I wanted to be able to import them individually, to place them as an embedded link in Photoshop. Oh, geez, and I might as well show you that because there's a little gotcha here. So command in, and then we're going to set up a custom document, 5,000 pixels square, and then say file, and then there's placed linked and placed embedded. Now, this is Photoshop 2018. I don't know if this is exactly how 2017 worked, but on Tuesday, we're going to have 2018 in the classroom. So... You can always do place length and then embed it later. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in, say, the 5x5, five five, okay, the Illustrator document. Click Place, and then what do I want to place? Leave it at Page. The image will work, but leave it at Page because it skips a step and things get cropped. And click OK, and then hit Return. Now we have this smart object. Sometimes when you... When you uh, place a new object, Photoshop doesn't like to be sitting on top of a smart object. Sometimes it works, sometimes there's problems. So I just create a fresh layer and then file, place embedded, and then click on a different one and click place. Click OK, hit return, and then you can always move this layer up if you want to bring in anything else. And now we've got the opportunity for find edges. We've got the opportunity uh, for blend modes. We can do so many different things. And this is just scratching the surface. All right, you guys, have fun with this. Learn how to create some cool actions. And we're going to go a lot deeper into this in the weeks to come.